welcome to my channel this is your girl megan with fit financial planning working out your own financial plan one lesson at a time if you are new to my channel welcome and please consider subscribing if you're a returning subscriber welcome back and it's great to have you here well this week in south africa it is the financial planning week all right it starts from the 3rd of october to the 7th of october all right this is an initiative um, that's been started by the financial planning institute of south africa and basically they're just shining a light on financial planning um, and consumer education so basically encouraging consumers to start um, thinking about financial planning to start you know looking at their finances holistically um, or as you're looking at a financial plan so um, this initiative is running this week in the description below i will leave a link to the financial planning institute of south africa and um, there you will be able to, you know, read up on, you know, the initiatives that they're driving this week and the different topics that they're discussing this week regarding um, saving. And um, also, if you want to meet with a financial advisor, they do have financial planners within their platform uh, that are going to offer, you know, financial advice free of charge this week. So if you are interested, then just click on the link below and um you know communicate with them and they'll be able to assist you so i only i know this video is only coming out now which is wednesday and you're like next but this started on monday it's okay it's just an awareness campaign all right so any time is a good time to establish a financial plan all right the younger you are the better okay so it doesn't matter whether you're seeing this video six weeks later three months later six years later it doesn't matter all you need to know is that the financial plan can be started at any time all right and every year the fpi will you know shine the light on financial planning and then you'll be able to you know get on the bandwagon and just see that okay now that you know we are here do I have a financial plan and what do I want to establish from this financial plan? So as you know, my channel is a consumer education channel, but also I'm an advocate of owning your own financial plan, right? So um, I want to give you a few tips, all right? So these tips are courtesy of Charles Schwab. Charles Schwab is a um, advisory firm based in the US. Um, so they're all over America. They've got branches. Um, all across North America and South America and I was just reading up and I just you know out of all the literature I've read they actually gave um, you know a nice summary on what you need to establish um, for a you know for a good financial plan so basically they have about eight components um, of a good financial plan and this is where you can start at home by yourself look at your finances yourself first before you meet with a financial advisor what is the benefit of that the benefit of that is you would be able then to establish what you want from your financial plan and then you're able to discuss this with the financial advisor ask the right questions and then they're able to direct you onto okay this is how we can achieve these plans and this is how we can achieve the goals that you have set out and you, that you have outlined all right so um there are a few components or a few things that you would need to obviously start thinking about so that when you meet with a financial advisor at any time then you can you know ask the right questions and then they'll be able to work with you on your own financial plan and then you'll be able to achieve your goals um and plan successfully so we're going to start with you know these eight components and I'm just gonna summarize them for you but I'll definitely leave a link below um, from where I got this article and then you can just further read that yourself and built in the article are a few calculators that you can actually play with so there's a savings calculator there's a retirement uh, calculator um, obviously you know none of this constitutes financial advice but you have an idea 
on how the financial plan is established when you go and meet with the financial advisor. They use a lot of these calculators to be able to give you a forecast that if you're going to invest this amount of money um, based on these returns, um, taking into account inflation, this is how much you would end up, you know, X years from now, depending on what your goals are. All right. So anyway, let's get straight into these eight components of a good financial plan. The first component is having financial goals. Okay. So we need to know why are we investing? Why are we saving? All right. And then we also need to establish, okay, I've got this amount of money. What do I want this money to achieve? What is the purpose of investing or saving this money? Okay. And you can only establish that when you have goals. All right. So it's advisable to have some short term goals. Okay. First of all, get out a piece of paper and write down your short term goals. So these goals that these are the goals that you want to achieve in the next five years, such as paying off your debt or buying a new car or traveling, you know, to a, an overseas destination, whatever your short term goal is write it down so short-term goals are anything between three to five years okay then look at your medium-term goals so these are anything between five to ten years okay so you need to write those down what do you want to achieve from five to ten years from now do you want to buy a new home um do you want to start a business um do you want to go back to school um, what is it that you want to achieve? And remember, your goals would also need to include um, your children and your spouse if they, if you, if they are part of your family unit, because um, your goals will affect at the end of the day um, the entire budget for the family. So you need to try and include those in your short, medium term, and long term goals. Then your long term goals would be those that you want to achieve um within like 10 years from now so 10 15 or 20 years from now um you know that would include you know sending your kid oh, guys load shedding <laughs> yes we back all right so these goals um the 10 year the um, long term goal would be what do you want to achieve in the next 10 15 or 20 years that could include sending your child to university um, sending them to high school which high school um, do you want to enroll in college for, your, for yourself personal development um, do you want to retire um, or you can you know chop and change your medium-term goals and your long-term goals I mean, this is flexible, okay? It doesn't have to be cast in stone. This is your own financial plan. These are your own goals. These are the things that you want to achieve for your life. So first of all, have financial goals. What do you want to achieve between three to five years, 10 to 15 years, 20 to 25 years? And with that, that will give you an idea on the next step. The next step would, would be to establish your worth statement, okay? What does that mean, all right? So what you need to do is you need to take all your assets and all your liabilities and then minus your liabilities from your assets. Then you know how much your net worth is as an individual. Okay, so then what would constitute as assets? Assets would could be your investment accounts, money in your bank account that you've saved, um, your real estate being your house, um, any valuables, you know, jewelry, things that are valuated, um, you know, things like that. So these would be your assets. Your liabilities would be things that you are paying off, all right? So your mortgage could also be a liability. So it's an asset and a liability at the same time. But it's more of an asset because you can actually um, leverage against your mortgage, all right? So um, it's, it's, it's looked at more as an asset, so um, your debts would be your credit cards. Um, as I said, your mortgage could also be a debt, student loans, um, clothing accounts, or whatever it is, um, the, the debts that you're paying, all right? So you take your liabilities and you deduct that from your assets and then you'll get your net worth, okay? So don't be alarmed if your net worth is a, in a negative, okay? It's normal to have a negative uh, net worth, especially if you're young um, and you have student loans or if you have a mortgage, 
respond so your net worth will definitely be in a negative if you're young or it could be in your positive if you don't own a mortgage and if you're just paying rent you know that would um, that wouldn't factor in as much so then you understand where you are um, as an individual what your net worth is okay then number three would be looking at your budget and your cash flow planning okay so this one is very important because this has a lot of line items that constitute or that um, a part of the financial plan. So here you're already paying off your bond, you're paying off your insurance policies, you 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 know you have some money going towards your investments, you um you know you have a lot of you you paying for medical aid. So you have a lot of line items that already you know constitute within the financial plan or that have financial planning products within that you're already paying for. So when you are um doing your budget all right separate your budget okay list everything and then separate it into nice to haves so your nice to haves would be all your subscriptions um your gym membership your um you know subscription to a magazine or whatever it whatever the case may be your occasional you know nail and hair appointments those are nice to have and then you 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 split it again into your basic necessities like food your shelter basically your rent or your mortgage your transportation costs to work and back um children's school fees um groceries and things like that so your insurance policies that you're paying your um your life cover policies your car insurance your medical aid those are your the, the those things that you actually need on a monthly basis and then you've got your nice to haves then you need to start evaluating like okay the within these nice to haves is there anything that i can do myself can you do your own hair can you do your own nails you know for instance um the subscriptions do you really need all these subscriptions or can you you know find creative ways of of learning something i mean youtube is free and in most times you don't even really need a subscription for youtube you just need you know wi-fi and you need data so those are the type of things that you just need to consider why why would you need to do that because the money that you are using um to pay for these nice to haves could be channeled towards your goals towards achieving your five-year goal towards paying off that debt um towards paying off that credit card paying off that store account, um, which are high interest um, debts. So consider your budget and look at your budget. Look at what you can live without and look at what is basically absolutely necessary. And then from there on, you will be able to channel the extra money that you have to where it's needed, like paying off your high interest Debts. Which brings us then to our fourth um, tip, which is your debt management plan. So basically, um, what would be your debt management management plan? First of all, it would be paying off um, high interest debt, like your credit card and your um, you know store accounts, um, you know things like that that actually have a negative your personal loans things that have a negative impact on your credit score if you do not pay all right so from our previous looking at our budget so the extra money that we've received from the nice to haves can be channeled into paying off this debt uh, much quicker okay also another important thing to to know is that make sure that this debt is protected all right so each um like credit card or home loan will have an insurance product linked to it so just you know find out whatever um debt you have make sure you have that debt protection um, in form of insurance because if anything happens to you death disability retrenchment then at least those policies can then kick in to settle um, that debt or to assist you if you cannot pay due to retrenchment or um, the fact that you can't work due, through, due to disability, then those policies can actually kick in and help you manage you know, paying off that debt. And usually those policies are not that expensive. So for every thousand rand you owe on a credit card, you probably pay something like four and fifty for every thousand rand so just depending and then 
also depending on how much you owe then your premium on that um policy will determine will be determined by that basically so just look at those things and make sure that you are covered in that sense okay and then obviously for your home loan and your mortgage um you know yes that is um, an equity uh, part of it it's a good debt to have but also make sure that you are um, covered for that you have life insurance linked to your uh, mortgage bond so that if anything happens and you die then you you know that policy pays off the bond also make sure you have structural insurance and home contents insurance so that if anything happens you know to your home contents due to a burst geezer your insurance policy can actually help you settle you know the cost of replacing your valuable items um, as well as your structural insurance so um, you know covering your your geezer and the structures and the fittings of the house like fixing your your roof fixing the ceiling all those things are covered by structural insurance so make sure that you have structural insurance and you, you have home contents insurance um, and then you have insurance on the bond as well so those are the type of things that you look at when we talk about your debt management plan then number five we look at your retirement plan so your retirement plan would be okay first of all when do you want to retire you know do you even want to retire because i mean in this economy that we're living in retirement is just a word that should be scrapped i think everybody should work and make a living till the day you check out because things are not going to get any easier or any better for any of us and um, i find that depending on the government grant for old age is just not enough it really isn't enough and um so depending on how much you're saving um, from your pre-tax money some people save 20 to 30 percent um, so the rule of thumb would be to save 80 percent of what you're living on you need to be able to live on that um in retirement okay but there are things that you need to consider because at retirement you're more frail um you need more medical care so you know you need to consider things like medical aid you need to be able to pay for medical aid you hopefully you would you won't have a bond by then um and hopefully your kids will be you know out of school married working and self-sustaining so you'd need to just look after yourself um, and obviously maintenance of your home those are the things you look at maintenance of your car um, or if you're fortunate enough and you retire and you want to retire luxuriously what do you want to do do you want to travel the world do you you know it just depends on you so you need to have a retirement plan but a realistic retirement plan and i think this is where financial advisor needs to come in to make some projections for you to say okay if this is what you want to achieve in your retirement this is how much you're going to need because they can calculate a future value so if you want to continue living the lifestyle you're living now when you retire in 60 years time they are able to do a calculation to show you how much it's actually going to cost you to you know to keep up with inflation and then they'll be able to give you um, a plan on how much you need to invest every month in a, in a retirement um, vehicle which will assist you you know once you once you're in retirement so that is something you need to look at you need to have some retirement plan then the next thing we need to look at is your emergency fund all right the rule of thumb is you should have between three to six months of your basic income that you get so it's the money after tax that you get um to live on right you need to have at least three to six months preferably six months worth of that in savings all right in your emergency savings that will just help you um you know mitigate any um emergencies that you might have um you know in your savings so that is money that you'd keep in like a money market um some somewhere that is not too volatile but where you can still you know you know get earn interest or into bonds and um, something moderate um that can just you know help you you know grow the the capital but also you know not too volatile where you can lose a lot of the capital because this you'll need 
um, within, let's say if there's an emergency, you need to make sure that you can access that money, you know, within a week or two. So put it in a vehicle, obviously, you know, with advice from a financial advisor, they'll be able to tell you that, okay, you can put it in a call account or in a fixed deposit account or in a money market account. Um, something that will assist you, help it grow, but preserve it and keep it for emergencies. Yeah. And our seventh tip here would always to consider insurance coverage, okay? As I mentioned um, in the debt um, you know, point, you must make sure that you have life insurance. That's a no-brainer, you know, for the people that you're leaving behind. Got to make sure that you have your household insurance. You got to make sure that you have your disability and critical insurance. You got to make sure that you have your health insurance in form of medical aid and gap cover if necessary. So these are the type of things that you would um, need to you know, discuss with a financial advisor. Once they've done your needs analysis, then they'll be able to say, okay, this is how much life cover you would need. This is how much insurance you would need. Um, disability this is how much also depending on your budget how much can you afford to pay for any of these line items okay so insurance coverage is extremely important last but not least number eight would be to consider your estate plan all right so remember in september we had national wills week this was to shine the spotlight on having a will and to encourage everybody to get a will drafted same wills estate planning is part of financial planning so all this wealth and everything that you've accumulated throughout your lifetime you need to make sure that it will be going to the right people and you need to make sure that your final wishes you know are granted okay you need to they need to know how you want to be buried you know just take the admin out of you know the, the grieving family do them a favor take the admin out of them and just give them you know the plan and the plan is in the will so you tell them okay this is how i want to be buried or this is i want to be cremated this is where i want my ashes to be scattered um i want these specific heirlooms to be inherited by this person um i want my estate to be wound up by so and so um and i want to have special bequests anything you can put in your will all right and remember I will link, um, I'll put the link in my, um, in the description below of that video that I did, um, where I explained what goes into a will and how a will is structured. All right. So your estate plan is very, very important. All right. So basically these are the eight tips of a good financial plan. All right. So you can do this yourself, you know, just take one afternoon off, take out a piece of paper, put your, all your finances in front of you and start the financial plan yourself, okay? Use these eight tips as a guideline, all right? And once you've established all of this, and if you feel that, okay, at least I know where I am financially, I know what I wanna achieve in the next five, 10, 15 years, I know how much I have to actually invest, I know how much I have to actually, you know, take out policies, um, I'm ready to meet with a financial advisor. And then you meet with a financial advisor who will be able to take you through the entire financial planning process um, with their years of expertise, understanding the markets and understanding how insurance works and medical aid. They'll be able to, you know, help you, assist you, draw up a great proposal that can help you achieve your goals um, much quicker um, without you actually losing money. Um, and in a safe manner and also they can introduce you know introduce you to tax and how you can structure you know the tax component component and how that works in to your financial plan um, investing in in investment vehicles that are tax savvy so that you don't have to pay as exorbitant amount of tax um, when you decide to cash in your investments so that's basically what the financial plan is and this is what the financial planning week is aimed at trying to highlight so i hope that this video has been helpful i hope that you have learned something and you will take on the challenge to start owning your own personal finance um i know there are a lot of videos that teach about personal finance but in the on this channel i want you to own the financial plan holistically so 
I really hope that this has been fruitful to you. Please share this uh, content um, to all your friends and family. And it doesn't matter when you're watching this video, start the financial plan today. Okay, look at your finances today and start making the necessary changes that you need to, to make today. Okay. So remember, none of my videos constitute financial advice. I'm just here to point you into the right direction and to assist you. And if you need a financial advisor, then just contact me and I'll be able to um, direct you to the relevant people. And yes, if you have any questions, please send me an email. If you want to engage, please just in the comment box, engage, let's talk. Um, and thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And yes. Until our next upload, take care and God bless.